I also welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be dealing with financial documents or financial document. Uh, let's look at this statement. It says that Mr. Rand Ford moved from the USA to South Africa and was appointed as a head of the Department for Mathematical Literacy and Mathematics at Zunul. Zunodli, yeah, Zunodli High School in Johannesburg. Below is an extract of his salary slip. So if we look at this salary slip, we can see that it's written salary advice, the same as salary slip. The name of the school, the address of the school, the date of joining, which is the 23 June 2022. Pay period is around August 2023. Worked day 26. Employee name. We can see there the position is the HOD, Department of Mathematics. When we look at the earnings, he only received basic pay and the home allowance. So a gross is the combination of a basic pay and home allowance, which is 41,072 rands and 18 cent. Deductions, the deduction that we are having here is tax, medical aid, and home loan. The value of A is total deduction we just have to add the three amount that we are having if they can ask you to find the value of A. The value of B is our net pay. We know that net pay is salary after deduction. We are just going to say gross minus total deduction. Then you find the value of B. Let's look at the first question. It says that explain the meaning of pay as you earn as seen in this contest of the salary slip above so we are going to use the contest that we are having on this pay slip the more really ends the more really ends the more he will pay tax The more in the ends, the more he will pay tax. Number two, 1.1.2. 1.1.2, it says that show by means of calculations how the gross income of 41,072 rands and 13 cents has been determined. This is a gross income. They want us to calculate the gross. The gross income in this case is going to be a basic pay plus home allowance, which is 39,380 and 75 cent plus the home allowance of 1,691 and 38 cent. Then we use our calculator. For the calculation <coughs> let's check in the calculator what we have 39,380 and 75 cents plus 1691 and 38 cent we found that our answer here is 41,072 and 13 cent Moving to the next question, uh, which is 2.1.3. 2.1.3. The question wants us to calculate the value of A, which is Mr. Ford's total deduction. The value of A, A is the Mr. Ford total deduction. So we can see in this case, the deduction that we are having, there are three. We are having the tax, which is 8,000. Tax is 8,000 
,496 and 32 plus what plus medical aid of 1701 plus home loan of 15,250. Then we do addition. We added the two. The three, I mean, 8,496 8, and 32 cents plus 1,701 plus 15,250 and then my answer here is 25,000 total deduction is 25,447 and 32 cents moving to the next question which is 2.1.4 2.1.4 it says that uh, Mr. Ford informed his wife that he will have a net of 15,625 and 81 cent. Verify with calculation whether he is correct. Write a formula for calculating the net salary to assist you in your calculations. We know that net is equal to net pay or net salary. Net is the salary after deduction. So we know that net is equal to gross minus deductions or, yeah, minus deductions. Gross minus deductions. So in this case, we know that his gross is 41,072 and 13 cent. Total deduction we just calculated in the previous question we found that it was 25447 and 32 cent so we just have to find the difference to get our gross here we're going to say 41072 and 13 cent minus the previous answer and then we find that his gross is 15624 and 81 cent so now they want us to verify because he told his wife that he will earn a net payment of 15,625 but when we do the calculation we find that this is 16 15,624 there is a difference of one range here so for that reason we are going to say that the claim invalid claim is invalid the claim is invalid because when we calculate we found that the net his net payment is going to be one rand less of what he stated on the on the statement or what he told his wife so 2.1.5 2.1.5 they are saying that Calculate what percentage is paid by the employee toward medical aid. Round off your answer to the nearest percentage. So we just move. We just go back to our documents. We found that on medical aid is written employee is 1,701. But the member fee is 4,000 and 27 so the amount that this person is paying on medical aid is 4027 the amount that is contributing to towards medical aid is 4027 but he is only paying 1701 so this one is a small amount we can see that this one is a big amount so this person because he's a teacher he does not pay full amount of a medical aid he just pay a small portion of that amount the other balance is paid by the government so now when we calculate the percentage we are going to say percentage 
is equals to the small amount divided by a big amount. We multiply this by 100. And our small amount in this case is 1,701. This is what is paying. Divide by what? 4,027, 4, I mean. This is what is contributing. It's multiplied by 100. And then we do the calculation here. We're going to say um, 1,701 over 4027 multiply this by 100 i found that my percentage here is 42 percent because they said we must round this uh, to the nearest whole number so the percentage is going to be 42 percent uh, thank you very much for watching this this video don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment or even liking the video after watching it. I will see you in the next video.